welcome. Let's continue with the turbulent flow friction factor. So we've seen that for transient state we should avoid it, transient state avoid it, and for laminar we have a very easy friction factor rule which is 64 divided by Reynolds. But the interesting part in the turbulent flow is that we actually care on the material because that layer we said before that didn't care for the viscous laminar flow, it does makes a difference in the turbulent flow so we need to calculate always the roughness it's also a function of diameter more diameter well you will expect a, a smaller rough, a relative roughness and of the Reynolds number the thing here is that we use either diagrams containing relationship of uh, the friction factor here and then Reynolds and if you have Reynolds number and the relative roughness you will be able to find the friction factor or equations we can plug in the Reynolds number and the relative roughness and the diameter and you will find the friction factor so on the diagram we use Moody's diagram also known as Darcy's diagram uh, it describes essentially how this is friction this is Reynolds number and all these are relative roughness okay so if you have Reynolds and you have relative roughness you can always calculate the friction loss okay uh, before advancing let me uh, make this in another class so we can understand what's the Moody's diagram how can we build one how can we read it and how can we use it to calculate the friction loss this was a free preview. If you want to get full access, go to my Incompressible Flow course. The link is in the description of the video. You will get all access. Not only that, you get a very straightforward, uh, user-friendly interface. So, for instance, you were analyzing or studying pumps, you have it here. The pump block, and then you have the sections. If you were, for example, studying the types of pumps, you can go here. And you have all the classes right here. Not to mention that you also have introduction and conclusion of every one of these. So for instance, if you were studying positive displacement pumps, the video is right here. If you were studying positive displacement pumps in rotatory and reciprocal are also included here. Centrifugal pumps, which is a very important topic in this course, you have it right here.